Alice Springs. My sister, my mum and myself decided to head up there. Driving through Yet Home, it was snowing on the way. I uh, had a nice meal at the airport, then it was over the Simpson Desert and all over the salt pans and into Alice. Uh, when we landed at Alice, there was hundreds of planes there. Um, these planes are all um, uh, ones that have been stored because of COVID and they haven't got back to uh, full operating capacity yet. And during COVID, there was a hell of a lot more of them. Uh, the following day, we uh, had a tour guide by the name of Kimberly. Um, who took us out to Papunya because um, we needed to have permits and things like that to drive through cattle stations and things to get there. Um, the reason we've gone up there is because mum and dad used to work up in Alice Springs uh, back in the uh, mid-60s. Um, mum was a nurse on uh, at, uh, and ran the hospital. Dad was a chef and he was also a recreational officer and Mr Fix-It. <laughs> And he used to um, take people to and from Alice uh, when they needed uh, um, to go in. Um, the corrugation on the road out there was absolutely horrendous. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of grass and that growing. Uh, when mum was out there originally, there was nothing. It was just completely dead. They were seven years into a 14 year drought. Um, and the uh, the settlement was was bustling. It was huge. It was There was many, many, many people there. Um, indigenous people um, and the reason for that is because the uh, because of the drought had been so bad all the water holes were drying up and uh, they had to had to come in and um, get a little bit of help um, when they did come in um, there was lots of uh, immunizations and um, medications and things like that and you know they really really helped them out amazingly um, there's mum there having a bit of a sketch uh, in her element, loving doing what she's doing. Hey, what's that over there? Hey, oh, it's just a camel. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I had a ball walking around just in that red sandy dirt. There's an aerial shot of the settlement. Um, yeah, had a great time out there. Now moving into some older photos of mum and dad out there. Um, yeah, dad uh, taught the guys how to play uh, cricket and he taught the women how to play softball. Um, and he also taught the guys how to play AFL, which they still play today out there. Uh, Mum's role out there was she ran the hospital, um, ran the immunisation programs. Um, sometimes they had to um, take immunisations and medicines and things out to out to some of the other camps and reserves um, because the uh, the indigenous didn't want to come in. Um, there's Mum there uh, turning a roux in the fire that the Aboriginals taught her how to cook. And there they are eating it. Uh, Mum boiling the billy and swinging the tea bags. Um, this is Dad taking them all out shooting. They got bogged there. And um, yeah, when they uh, came back in, they brought this little roo uh, called Willie, which Mum and Dad looked after for quite some time. And there's Mum and Dad with a snake. <laughs> 